Moving on to the big news out of Washington today, Louisiana Congressman Mike Johnson is now Speaker of the House. He secured 220 votes, out three more than he needed to win in an election that has ended a three-week standoff on Capitol Hill. Now, tonight the focus on, is on what comes next. Eleanor Tabone has reaction from other members of Louisiana's delegation. I especially want to thank all the extraordinary people of the great state of Louisiana. We have never had a Speaker of the House hail from our state. Mike Johnson is the fourth nominee for Speaker of the House. The Christian Conservative is from the Shreveport area and was first elected into Congress back in 2016 after serving in the Louisiana legislature. We stand at a very dangerous time. I'm stating the obvious. We all know that. The world is in turmoil. But a strong America is good for the entire world. As a congressman, Speaker Johnson represents the northwest and western regions of Louisiana. Prior to his election to Congress, he was an attorney and served in the Louisiana State Legislature. Now, it was really good to see how people judged Mike on his own merits as they judged me when I got elected unanimously to be the House Majority Leader. Republican House Majority Leader Steve Scalise says he's known Mike Johnson for nearly 20 years. Number one, he's a really dedicated, passionate, hard worker. And I think that's what my colleagues see in Mike is, you know, somebody who really has strong convictions, wants to get things done, wants to help fix this broken institution. We need to change the way Washington works. Mike Johnson is someone I've known for a long time. We're both the products of the Louisiana legislature. Um, we're ideologically worlds apart. Democratic uh, Congressman Troy guy. Carter says he's glad Washington is back in business after the three-week search for a new speaker. But says he's cautiously optimistic because of Johnson's history, such as voting against certifying the results of the 2020 presidential election won by President Biden. The concern that he was on that side of the election deniers is something that uh, naturally we should be concerned about. Hopefully he has learned from that and recognizes that we have to now move forward. Both Carter and Scalise agree, however, this is a big deal for Louisiana. Funding for projects that are critically important, like flood protection and disaster recovery, uh, it's going to bode very well with being able to push back against risk rating 2.0, uh, a measure that has been crippling for homeowners and increased uh, flood protection insurance. We are going to work together. We we're going to work closely. Uh, it's historic for Louisiana, and, and we punch above our weight right now, that's for sure. Eleanor Tabone, Eyewitness News. Governor John Bell Edwards congratulated Representative Johnson on his win. He said in a statement that, quote, in Louisiana, despite our differences, we have found ways to work across party lines. I hope Speaker Johnson can bring these Louisiana values to Washington.